before we start today's video, I want to mention that 80% of you have not subscribed to the channel. Most of my views come from not subscribed people, so make sure you take the time to go down below and hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying the content. Make sure you hit the like button too if you enjoy the content as well, and enjoy today's episode. With the release of the Crown Tundra, Pokemon Sword and Shield have reintroduced the legendary Pokemon back into the game. The most exciting feature of this DLC is probably the Dynamax Adventures, which offer you legendary prizes for completing your adventure. And you can take one of these legends with you. What's good, Chaotic Nation? It's your boy, Chaos here, and I wanted to look at some of these Dynamax Adventures and create a way to help every trainer ensure that they can complete their adventure. Let's get into it. As I mentioned, Dynamax Adventures are very popular in the Pokemon community. This unique gameplay format gave many trainers what they were looking for in the DLC. A new way to shiny hunt Pokemon. Now shiny hunting and sword and shield had been left to Masuda egg hatching or standard wild encounter hunts with a 3% variable to lower the odds down to 1 in 512 after you knocked out 500 Pokemon. Dynamax Adventures reconstructs the traditional wild area max dens and gives you an option to forge a path to legendary Pokemon at the end as you construct your team along the way. Each of the four Pokemon you encounter along the way, including the legendary at the end, can be taken and added to your Pokemon collection, and each of them have a 1 in 100 chance of being shiny. While most dens tend to be pretty straightforward, there are a few legendary Pokemon that cause players to miss their chance at the legend at the end due to their ability to have to stay alive for either 10 turns or not get knocked out 4 times. I have been hunting Zygarde on my Twitch channel and I have run into some complications when trying to complete my adventures with that Pokemon, which has prompted me to examine every legendary Pokemon and come up with strategies to help beat the legendaries. By the way, if you'd like to join me on my quest, check out the streams on twitch.tv slash chaos6 and join in on the adventures. To start going through the legendaries offered, we are going to start with the simplest of legends. The following legendary Pokemon are the simplest to deal with and really only require you to have some Pokemon that are super effective against them. These legendaries are Arcticuno, Zapdos, Entei, Lugia, Ho-Oh, Latios, Yuxi, Mesprit, Dialga, Garatina, Cresselia, Reshiram, Zekrom, Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Tapu Bulu, Tapu Fini, Buzzwole, Feromosa, Cartona, and Blacephalon. Again, just using super effective moves should be enough to help you deal with these legendary Pokemon. I would always recommend having a healer and a support mon that can lower defense stages two stats at a time because they are great assets to any team composition and will generally help you out in staying alive and making the legendary easier to battle. I have included a note here about using a supportive mon to lower stats because any Pokemon you meet along your path, legendary or not, can remove their negative stat changes and remove your positive stat changes. So just know that that's a possibility as you're going through the raids that you might not have your stat changes when you need them the most. You also have to watch out for your lowered stats on your end. Many of the max moves lower stats or increase stats for the Pokemon that uses them. So you might want to move like Haze or Clear Smog to help get rid of these stat changes and prevent you from getting swept by one of these Pokemon. So what about the rest? Well, they are more difficult. Moltres, Mewtwo, Latios, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, Azelf, Palkia, Heatran, Cresselia, Tornadus, Landorus, Kyurem, Xerneas, Zygarde, Lunala, Nihileco, Circuitry, Celestela, Guzzlord, and Stack Attack all have spread moves in which basically is a way just to nuke your entire team at the same time. Since I've been doing these Zygarde raids, I've completely seen these Pokemon stuff and expedition especially when a legendary gets desperate and instead of using one move per turn it hits two of its spread moves in a turn which is really just difficult to deal with. To protect against this, use Wide Guard which protects against spread moves. Mantine, Mian Shao, Pelipper, Kingler, and Hitmonlee get this move in the Dynamax Adventures and it is very important to have one to deal with these spread moves as well as using a Mon with super effective stab, having a healer, and also taking advantage of a supportive Mon. 
Now, there are a few other Pokemon I'd like to mention. Mewtwo, Raikou, Ho-Oh, Kyogre, Groudon, and Thunderous have moves that affect or are affected by weather. It's useful to try to shut down their specific weather with Cloud 9 or by setting a beneficial weather for your team. So, like Raikou has Weather Ball. If you set a weather that is going to you help Raikou take out your team, like if you have a bunch of ground types and you set up the rain, Raikou is just going to be able to body your team with that water move. So try to set a weather that would help you rather than hurt you if you were going to use weather at all. Latias is a special case because it has a specific move known as Reflect Type, which would make Latias the same type as one of the four Pokemon that you are using. The main strategy here should be to take this thing out as quickly as possible, by using something super effective on it, or by having a support mon lower its defenses so you can Oko it. It will be an issue if Latias does become one of the Pokemon on your team, but Ghost types are a really good option for this fight, because even if you do end up switching Latias to a Ghost type due to Reflect type, you can still be able to be super effective against it with your stab moves. So that would probably be your best option to counter a reflect type Latias. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed make sure you leave a like and subscribe to help out this channel. Feel free to check out me on other platforms such as Twitter and Discord for channel updates and just red general content and follow me on Twitch for live streaming content and hang out over there. Thanks for watching and until next time I'm Chaos signing off stay safe and as always. Burn it up.